good one on. Alright, right here. Here we go. Hell yeah. Nice. Blake, get the get the net. Go to the back, Jack. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> he tried well, to nice do a nice 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 work. Nice work. Look at that dark spot on the back of his seat. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool. Like Alright, now you can go to the next. Okay. It faster than me. I was like, what? The? I never kicked it sideways like that. Locked in. We're back. Okay. Woo! Back up some. I got my second one. And now we got 11, which is almost our three person limit. Come on, bring them to the box. Yeah, we'll bring them to the box. Look how many we got in the box. Other side. Wrong side. Oh, come over here. Other side, babe. Shay on the net, pick it straight up and just dump them out. Go ahead and kick my hook for me. actually because we don't have a grill so this is kind of like our little substitute for a grill it's called the rock 
I really don't know much about it. I think my mom got this for me. So my sous vide machine is made by Backmaster Fresh. Currently, Backmaster Fresh is having holiday sales, of course. So these machines are all on sale right now. So if you wanna go grab one, the link will be in the description box below. But if you're watching this video uh, later and there's no sale, then you can always use my discount code, which I'll pop on the screen right there. It will also be in the description box below. Let me show you up close. The, uh, the screen. So this is all touch screen right here. And this is where it shows you the model name. And then on the back here, it has the information as well. So that's where you plug it in. Uh, this is the on and off switch. And this little piece right here is where you screw it on and off to whatever container you were using to cook your food in the water. I'll get more into it later. You, you might, if you don't know anything about sous vide, you're like, what the heck is going on right now? So it's been around for years, but I feel like lately it's been getting more and more popular in the cooking industry and people are starting to kind of use it more because it's so incredibly easy. You basically have a pot of water, right? You hook the sous vide machine onto the side, tighten it to the edge of whatever container you're going to be using. So once you have it screwed on and mounted onto the side of your container, then that brings me to the term sous vide. It's a French word. Sous means under and vide means vacuum. So sous vide means under vacuum. In order to cook sous vide, you need to have your food vacuum sealed. You put that under the water and the water is constantly circulating to, to maintain one temperature. You are cooking your food at one temperature the entire time. It's not kind of fluctuating like most other cooking methods. You know, if you're cooking your food on a pan or in the oven or on the grill outside, that temperature and everything is fluctuating. Every time you open that grill, you lose heat, stuff like that. So when you're cooking your food in circulated heat under water, it cooks it all perfectly even. And not only is everything cooked evenly, the nutrients in the food are preserved in that food much better than any other method of cooking. That is probably my favorite thing about it is that I know that when I'm cooking my meats, vegetables, I'm getting the most out of it, the most out of all the nutrition that that vegetable offers or that piece of meat offers. And that to me is like, oh, I hope uh, I didn't bore you with all that information and stuff about sous vide. But if you're still watching, uh, we're gonna get started on the cooking. has a little spot right here where it tells you this is the max level of water that you can have in the container and this is the minimum level of water you can have in the, in the container. So let's see where we're at in this pot. Okay, so I'm actually at the minimum level. Wow, I thought for sure I had a little, too much water in there. So I'm just a little bit above the minimum fill line, which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable because one thing you have to think about when you are cooking is that the water does heat up so it could potentially evaporate and it might go below that minimum water line so I just don't want that to happen. So I plugged it in and now I'm going to turn it on. Okay so I'm going to set the temperature here. I want it at 185. Okay so it's very easy touch screen, very nice. Um, one hour I need to actually know. So we're going to set it to manual. See how it was an A, that's automatic. And I'm going to put it on manual. And I'm going to put it on 35 minutes. Okay, that's how you do that. So you have to tap that for the hours and this is for minutes. Okay. Learn something new, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, and then you just click the little green check mark and that starts the water. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh jeez. I forgot to hit the play button. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little pause and a play. You have to hit play to start the water. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, hit play. Don't forget to hit play. So while this is heating up behind me, I'm gonna get started on my preparing my broccoli. Beautiful head of Broccoli, mm, that is gorgeous. The 
this would be an appropriate size vacuum seal bag for the broccoli. Put this all in there just plain, like that. No seasoning, you wanna season it afterwards, actually. So, I'm a little bit nervous about the weight, because apparently sometimes you need weight in the bag to keep that bag submerged, but I'm just gonna go without it for now, just see how it goes. If, if, if there's a problem, then we'll have to fix it, but you know, that's no worries. So, I'm not sure of the size of this bag, but I do know that it is the three millimeter thickness. And I'll find all the links for the bags that I use and put them in the description box below. So let's see how easy this is. This machine is amazing. So I don't know if this is a little intense, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Shit. I don't, you know, this is this is gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna throw it in when that's done. And I'm gonna get started on my fish right now. So this I pulled out of the freezer earlier. Triple tail. It says, Jackie caught the only one this day. Lewis couldn't catch one. <laughs> you know, you gotta rub it in their face sometimes, you know? Right, girls? Cause we gotta give these guys a problem sometimes. Cause they're always giving us problems. Look at this. Triple tail is a delicious white meat fish. I would compare the meat to maybe like a red snapper or some people say grouper. I don't think it really compares to grouper, but more like a snapper. I would def definitely compare it to some mutton snapper, red snapper, stuff like that. It's firm, like when you get them this big, you know they're definitely firm enough to grill. It's not as firm as like swordfish. So we do leave it on the skin also. Look how big those scales are. And they're so thick. They're like fingernails. For the triple tail, I'm just going to, I, I'm heating my oven right now to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's going. Also take this pan and I put it in the oven just to get it heated up. I think I'm gonna just spray a, li a light layer of avocado oil on there. Stick this in here. I have my filet here. And I'm just gonna be really simple with it. I'm gonna do maybe some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and then I'm gonna get some slices of butter and just lay them across the top. And I'll do some slices of lemon too. We'll just see how that tastes. Let me get it out for you. There's also like so many different, you know, like rubs and seasonings and stuff that you can get for fish specifically. I just, I never have time to look, go through them all and look at them in the store and you know pick a good one because there's so many. Really, I just keep it simple, just you know, and fast and easy and healthy. And if you guys want to see me clean a triple tail, I have a video of me doing that as well, uh, right up there. I'll put it up there for you if you want to see the cleaning process of that. Cut it in the squares, and lay them across the top. <sighs> look at that. Beautiful lemons. So I'm gonna lay those across the top also. I just missed it. I was trying so hard to get it on video for you, but my sous vide machine just went off and beeped. Going in. Just. All right, so it is having a hard time staying submerged, which is not good. You need to have it submerged. So I'm gonna. So my broccoli is already turning like this beautiful color, bright green. I had an issue keeping it submerged. It kept floating to the top, which is not good. You want it all completely submerged in the water. So I put a knife over it. After you put the broccoli in, you have to press play on the screen that has the timer portion. You have to on the screen here, once you put your broccoli in, then you hit play and it will start counting down. Still waiting on my stupid old oven. Actually, no, I'm sorry, oven. I like my oven. Still waiting on the oven to preheat and throw my fish in, but she's she's ready to go. And yeah, just waiting around. Really, I, I, this is the nice thing about sous vide is I don't have to like stand at the stove and stir it or like keep an eye on it or keep going to check it. You know, it's like, just leave it in there, you know? It's really nice. All right, so I think my oven is broken or something because it's been on forever and it's still not heated yet. So I'm just gonna put it in there anyway, just to see, because I'm getting tired of this. My vegetables are almost done. All right, so I'm gonna transfer this. Oh, do you hear it? Ooh, okay, that should be good. 
sounds good. Okay. 20 minutes. Let me show you what I got going on over here on the stove, actually. I, well, first, let me show you this, um, this juicy looking broccoli. Looks like we got five minutes left, and then that's how the broccoli is looking. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and green. And then over here, I have my cast iron pan, which I am loving. I'm getting, it's a little hard to get used to because it's different than, you know, using a nonstick pan, but I'm loving this thing. I've got my butter started in here already. I'm going to turn this on to like, let's see, like a low medium heat. And then fish is in here. You can't really see it. You use these tongs to get it out. Whoa, can you see this? Wow, this is so cool. Turn it off, I'm pretty sure, to stop it. Just turn it off and then let the water cool down and then take it out and clean everything. Really, there's not much cleaning to do because the pot didn't get dirty. All you gotta do is dump the water out, it's awesome. And then, so over here, let me bring you over here. It is so hard to self-film, like, these cooking. Angle it down more, I won't be in it, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this open. Oh, I gotta get my garlic. Gotta get my garlic going. Put some garlic in there. Here is the sous vide broccoli. I'm gonna cut it open. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's like perfectly cooked. Wow. It all buttery and garlicky. A little bit of salt. Garlic powder. I cannot wait to taste that. Should I taste a little piece right now before the fish is done? Oh, oh. whoa, look at that, the fish is done. All right, let's take this out. Or actually, I need to check it. So I'm gonna put you right here. My little cameraman, my little tripod cameraman. Good. Okay, let me use a knife. I'm gonna use a knife and poke the fish to see if it's uh, smooth all the way through. Oh wow, that feels really good. Perfect. It feels perfect. So let me take out the whole thing. I'm just gonna take out that whole piece. See if I can flake it with the fork. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, that's what you want to see right there. Oh, wow. Okay, let's put this on a plate. Mmm. It's good stuff. It comes right off the skin. Holy triple tail. Look how it's just coming right off the skin. That is cooked like perfectly. I'll get my water and then I'll meet you at the table because this deserves a seat at the table, okay? I'm going to taste. Oh, I'm so far away. Oh, well, I'm gonna taste first the sous vide broccoli with the garlic and butter sauce type of stuff, saute we did. The texture is actually perfect. I'm not gonna lie, like when I stick my fork into it, I'm like, ooh, it feels a little firm. Like if you've had it steamed or sauteed, it's like mushy, you know? But you also, if you steam it in the microwave and it's too crunchy, it's like, ugh, like it's too raw. This is like crunchy, but with that steamed flavor, if you, if, like if that makes sense. Like, oh my gosh. Mmm, holy shit. Mmm. I'm gonna try the triple tail next. I'm going for a big bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I made this. I really am liking that sous vide machine. Every single time I use it, I love it. So I really plan on using it a lot more and hopefully bring you some more catch and cook videos 
using the machine. The reason I didn't use the fish in the machine is because they don't recommend that you cook really flaky fish with the sous vide method because it can fall apart in the bag, I think, or something like that. I just kind of read that before and I don't really want to try it yet, but I do want to do a deer meat recipe next. I would love to try backstrap in the sous vide machine because um, steak is really good in the sous vide and chicken, of course, stuff like that. So uh, look out for some more of that. And I highly recommend you check out those sous vide machines. It is going to change your cooking game. And if you're having people over for the holidays and stuff, if you really want to impress them, Honestly, I get a sous vide machine because wow, that broccoli was insane. I love using tools in the kitchen that help me get the most out of my meal. Because we, as hunters and fishermen and you know, outdoors people that go and harvest our own food, it's just so valuable to have tools like the sous vide machine that really help you put in that full effort into making sure you get the most out of your meal, that you put so much work and effort and passion into. How you handle it from beginning to end is just so important. It really makes such a difference. And you realize that once you do it yourself, you know? All right, see y'all later. Have a good night and I'll see y'all in my next video.